I want to provide you some details on a Metaverse <laughs> VR competitor. <laughs> but this Let's is go. a little bit of a twist. This is a little bit of a twist. So yeah. the Pimax, I'll call it the Pimax, the Pimax Portal is a Steam Deck and Quest 2 competitor all in one. What? Well, huh? <laughs> Sounds kind of weird, yeah. right? It's like, hmm, interesting. Um, a Switch style console that's built for VR. I mean, you know, just play. I mean, this is an hour long video. You think I'm going to watch the whole thing? Of course not. But <laughs> they show off some stuff here. Let, let me just, let me see real quick. I want to see just some visuals that we got here of some of the, uh, of some of the actual product um, they show off. I mean, let me just pause here. I mean, we see, I mean, our cameras are kind of blocking. You can't see the full thing. But this is, I mean, this is literally a switch from what I, from what I can see, you know? It does look exactly like a switch. <laughs> like almost yeah. exactly. Oh. It says physical, there's 32 physical buttons on this device. There's, I mean, I'm not going to count them, but like, I think they're right. I mean, there's a lot of buttons here. You got triggers, you got bumpers, you got four buttons and an analog on one side, four buttons and an analog on the other side. And then you have two buttons above the actual <laughs> analog pads and then three buttons below it. I mean, this is ridiculous. I mean, essentially I each... Would... Kind of controller is like its own thing, right? Could be pressing all the wrong like buttons all the time. I mean, yeah, button. that's what I would think too. Um, I would not trust myself. Show off the VR headset too. The VR headset looks like uh, looks pretty nice, honestly. I mean, it's not uh, not crazy. So this is interesting. So that controller for the Switch plugs in to the actual like controllers for the VR interesting <laughs> okay this is fascinating this is really interesting could this be revolutionary mike i mean i don't know if it works if it works yeah <laughs> if yeah. it works yeah that is I mean, it's I actually say, pretty wild i, mean, I gotta say the, the video whoever made this video is cracked i mean this is insane um but yeah it's, it looks like there's a battery in the back so it's cordless um, yeah very nice there but yeah, I mean, it seems, I mean, on paper, it looks pretty cool. Um, well, there's even, like, color controllers at one point. Like, little color. Oh, oh yeah, the uh, oh, LEDs God, on that it. That looks sick. Like, so they're showing the controllers, and there's, like, six different color options for uh, controllers. You have yellow, blue, indigo, what looks like a teal, a pink. Um, wow, very cool. I can show too much more in the video, but um, I'll read a little bit of the article. So it says Pimax is a brand known for making high-end VR headsets with massive fields of view, and they just announced one of the most ambitious product releases yet. Usually Pimax sticks to VR headsets, but the new Pimax Portal seems to be some sort of portable Steam Deck-like machine capable of AR, VR, and everything in between. The Portal was shown off during Pimax's Frontier 2022 presentation and is being sold as the, quote, the world's first metaverse entertainment system. While many of us aren't exactly sold on the metaverse, the portal does look like an interesting device. Um, if it can achieve everything the company's suggesting, it could certainly be a versatile gaming machine. I would agree with that. I think it looks, <laughs> it looks pretty interesting. Um, it starts as a main body, which is a Switch-like build, featuring a center screen with magnetic controls on either side, the 5.5 inch HDR screen would be no joke with 4K resolution that runs 144 hertz refresh rate. That's where I start to get a little like, uh, okay. <laughs> like you have like a little display like this and they're claiming 4K 144 hertz. Is it 4K at 144 hertz or is it 4K at 30 and 1080p at 140? Like, what are we talking here? Um, yeah. Gets a little weird, I think, at that point. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is. This is quite a uh, little bit of a lengthy article. Um, it says, um, when you're wanting some VR action, the screen portion of the portal can slot into the VR headset while the controllers fit into the handheld sleeves. So I, I didn't even realize that initially, but it's literally the headset. It's that 5.5 inch screen switch portion slips into the front of the headset. And then that's oh, yeah. what acts as the screen for the actual headset. Very interesting. Honestly? Could be kind of sick. Now, now the screen specs got me a little skeptical. I'd have to see, you know, I'd have to actually see it in action. But I love this concept, <laughs> like just being able to have like a switch and then turning it into like a VR experience. I don't like that. Um, 
it says there's two types. Um, there's actually two types of, um, it says devices of purpose designed to use two types of lenses are included with the kit. One for gaming with 27 PPD resolution and a hundred degree field of view. The other is designed for more movies offering 40 PPD and a smaller 60 degree field of view. Very interesting. <laughs> it's like, I guess, different, different options there. Um, but overall, sounds very interesting. It says while it will debut on Kickstarter presale on November 15th, the portal is going to market starting at 300 USD with the most expansive version currently listed at 600 USD. Uh, there's clear potential for this machine as both a hybrid portable console and a VR system, but with claims so big, I need to see it in action first. And I agree with the person that wrote this article over yeah. at PC Gamer, Hope Corrigan. I agree with you. I think uh, I would need to see more. However, the concept is very fascinating and very interesting and definitely something uh, definitely something I don't think anyone's thought of yet. So I'm, ve I'm definitely very curious to see more. Yeah, I don't know. What do, what do you think, Mike? Like a Switch VR melding together? I... Oh, dude. Oh, I think that's totally doable. I really do. But the specs that they're giving, I mean, man, it's kind of insane. Like, yeah. so I'm on their official website right now, and they're talking about an 8K headset. Dude. Like, uh, what? 8K, I... 8K at 90 hertz. Yeah, that's, dude, that is wild, man. Like, is that even possible? I, or 8K at 110 hertz refresh rate. I mean, yeah, like, dude. I, right now, I just don't, I don't think that's possible the, right now. With the GTX 1060? You're trolling. You're trolling. Oh, dude, especially that GTX kind of card. You are trolling. Like, there's no I, shot. Well, that's, they're saying that's the minimum. So I'm, I'm wondering if it's just like... Man, it's, it's really hard to tell. It, it's really hard to tell what they mean. But, I mean, the AK version's going for like $1,000, and the 5K version's going for $490. I wonder if I can buy this right now. Let's give it a <laughs> shot. We're going to check like, out let's live. See. Just drop a grand on the podcast. Yeah, live. 5K plus. This is a write-off. Uh, <laughs> tax write-off. <laughs> I mean, it looks like it'll take my money. 15-day returns. Mm. Uh, mm. So we get it, do a YouTube video, and then send it back. There you go. That's the point. Unless it's coming from, unless it's coming from like, China, then it's going to be, like, two months <laughs> to get to <laughs> us. <laughs> Very true, Let's very see. true. It looks like uh, only available in EU and United States. Okay, I mean... Okay. I don't know, man. I really don't know what to think here because it's... Uh, this is one of those things where I feel like a tech YouTuber is probably going to buy and give a full rundown. Definitely, yeah. Like, this, this would get a lot of views. Yeah. AK, virtual reality headset. Check it out. We got the <laughs> new one. Less than $1,000. You say that, I mean, people are showing up. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh, it's crazy. Crazy claims. Um, I, I do. I love this concept, though. I'm all for, like, you know, Switch imitations, you know? Especially if they're, like, decent. Like, I'm all for that style, so. Hey, man. Yeah. I, I, I think the whole, like, portable setup and everything like that, that's such a good idea. I really do think that's an awesome idea. Yeah. I'm just curious how they're doing this, like, resolution stuff. Yeah, I mean, I am too, honestly. Um, it just doesn't sound possible, but and I don't know. I haven't heard too much. Yeah, I mean, th this is the first I've heard of Pimax. It says they, you know, like you Same. were saying, they, they've done other, like, VR stuff, so that was kind of their mainstay, but I don't know, dude. It sounds pretty interesting. I would definitely be keeping an ear out, an eye out. Um, but yeah. I mean, I, I think in the future, though, stuff like this is definitely possible, especially, like, those resolutions, which is exciting. You know, you get up to 8K, it's like, it's like, how are you distinguishing that from reality, dude? Like, it's so high resolution, you know? So, Yeah, I mean, it, it just seems like another one of those, like, crazy Kickstarter campaigns that just doesn't add up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> seen so many yeah. of these. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Definitely. Um, yeah, I'll be waiting to hear more. You, you know, yeah. 